This has to be one of the cleanest Sony C6 Mark II UBs I've seen. And just look at that. Just no fingerprints at all. So, time for the gloves. Let's crack on. Hello and welcome to another Mr. Betabyte video and this one's a little bit different insofar as you're looking at a Sony C6 Mark II UB, uh, UK Marquez. And this machine, I mean honestly, it really is just so tidy. It's beautiful. Uh, I've already taken the screws out um, and look inside and it's immaculate. There's hardly any dust. I mean it's, it's minimal and everything looks so like as new so yeah i'm really looking forward to working on this to be fair um this machine is a repair uh, it's come from joel hi joel hope everything's good with you and um just a great machine um now the issue with it um What's being reported is that it has capstan issues, and I think we know what, where this is going to go. Um, it's going to be those um, caps on the servo board, but let's give it a test. Okay, so let's power it on, and... Sounds good. Press play. I can hear it hunting. Yeah, it's the usual sort of everything all over the place. Um. So we have head issues and we have capstan issues. Honestly, you, you, you know, know. I'll tell you the best people were the yeah. fans down yeah. watching yeah. their they were, tours. They were, they were brilliant. Thank you Super. so much. Okay, so uh, yeah, it's going to be those those caps on the, uh, the Sony caps on the servo board. No tape left in there. Um, I mean, what a machine. So, uh, yeah, let's crack on. Okay, so I've taken the bottom off, and unfortunately at some point, the main plug has been against this. It's not actually from Joel, because um, he was really, really careful how he packed it, probably because <laughs> because of a previous delivery uh, calamity. Um, so, uh, servo board. Um, servo board, part of me, sort of always expects servo balls to be under the um under the mechanism so the mechanism is this side um but this is all signal and usually with so many stuff if you've got outputs um then chances are the signal ball is going to be directly behind it um not always but um yeah so uh we've got the ss9 board um what are you taking the screws out screw there screw there um, we are actually missing a little plastic, um, one of these, um, which is interesting. And there, um, so clip here, clip here, and there's a clip there as well, but, uh, I've already opened this and this is actually rooted correctly. Um, there's a little board up here and there is actually plenty of slack in the cable um, so you don't have to unplug it um, there we go so that can then pull down so um, we are looking for senior caps and they're really easy to spot I'm going to do them all um, they're all these blue caps so um, here 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 here, here, um, one here, one here, one here. So I just do all of those. Um, I think there's another one somewhere. Um, 
maybe not. Maybe I'm thinking of a different machine. Maybe the Mark I. Um, the Mark II and the Mark I, although electronically they are the same, physically the board layouts can be different. Um, and like the power supply, for example, I know is completely different because we had all that palaver with the previous one. Um, I don't know about the SS9, um, but we've got we've got a Mark I uh, coming up very, very shortly. So it'll be interesting to sort of compare the two, and that actually has the same fault as this. So it'll be interesting to, to compare the two, um, and I will do that. I'll, I'll compare the two uh, different boards. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah, these are all the caps. You can see the blue, light blue. Um, I think for memory, I think it was these two um, that initially caused problems. I could be wrong. Can't remember now. Um, yeah, and there, there, there. So I'm just going to do them all, and um, yeah, should be should be all good. Let's crack on. Okay, before we plug it in, let's check this plug out. Okay, so it'll be a, yeah, it's five amp, which is actually it's fused to the cable, so that's fine. Um, it's totally um, not uh, to current spec though, so no um, shredded pins. So I shall get that changed. Okay, so let's see how we are going.
that's pretty <laughs> pretty striking difference. Um, so yeah, I mean that's that's working really really well. Um, so I'll leave it um, run for a while. Just check everything is stable. Uh, but let's just check tracking. So tracking's down here. It's the furthest left. Uh, it's right at the end. It breaks up furthest right. Yeah, it starts to break up. So I'm happy with that. That's really great. Um, so yeah, um, I think I think we've done it. Uh, we're good to go. Like I said, I'll give it a test. Um, and I'll give it a clean as well before it goes back. Um, but I do have this, you might have noticed. I've just got a couple of these. Um, limited use. It's sort of quite exciting when you first think, oh, wow, there is a remote control um, unit adapter for it. But it's, it is actually fairly limited because all you've got is um, the picture search and then pause so um let's let's put this in i don't think this has ever been out of its packet no it hasn't so let's plug this in or well, if it has it's been put back in there's a bit of a break in the plastic there so maybe it has so <laughs> got it out used it a couple of times and put it back um so Really nice quality remote. It's lovely. And it takes three AAs. So RMT210. Uh, so let's just turn this off. And plug this in. Receiver I mean, it just has feet on the bottom, so it's not like it even sticks on the side like some of the Toshibas did, for example. Um, bit of a mark there from where it's been in storage, but it's got a long lead on it, so I suppose you can put it, you can hide it away. Um, and the remote connection is underneath. Uh, let's get some batteries. So, I say it's three, it's not, it's two. It looks like it should be three, <laughs> but it's two. So let's turn it back on. Ooh, well that's interesting. So if you press, um, if you press search, it puts it into play. So if I stop it, so well it actually puts it puts it into search. Um, but then um, puts it into play. So it's you can press play with it. Um, so. Yes, do reverse picture. Tiny bit of a sweep there, I'll have to investigate that. Oh, it's actually outside. <laughs> it's not the machine. I've got the window open. Um, and then still. So, but then you've got to press stop at the machine. But yeah, so I suppose any of these, either of these will do. I don't think pause, because pause is pause. But there's that squeaking again. <laughs> it's, it's the car outside. Yeah, so you just sort of dab it and it'll... Uh... It'll... Uh... Let's play as well. Cool. So, uh, yeah, it was just nice to try that, but uh, yeah, I suppose in some ways limited use, but it's pretty cool. 
So, yeah, with that, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, please like and subscribe as well. really means a lot to me. I'm starting to get some half-decent numbers now, which is absolutely wonderful. Um, so, yeah, lots more to come. Um, and uh, see you in another video. Bye for now.